I want to take just a brief moment to summarize kind of what we've been talking about. You know in that devil's head area, that's a real productive place to be fishing. You can do real well in there. Long Anderson Island, that's also a good place for me. It's one of my favorite places to fish in June. I've been keeping a ship's log about how to fish in that different area for some 20 years now, and I thought I would just share a few things with you to help you catch that one more fish. If you're going to get out and you want to fish in the October months of the year, you want to stay around Devil's Head. If you're going to be fishing around Anderson Island area, you're going to find that that's going to be the most productive for you between middle of June and July. If you're looking for some summer run kings, I have a note here that I'm talking about fishing around the Johnson's Point area, South Bay Buoy. High evening incoming tides have worked the best. Color combinations really are important, and what I have here is a number of times yellow and white fly, just a yellow and white fly fished about 80 to 90 foot behind a 32 inch leader. Now, Another combination that I have here a note on is the all white with a red head, a little bit of green in it even, it's, it's written down here. Leader length was 31 and a half inches. I have another note here on my white squid, and I'm saying that my leader was 28 inches. How I adjust my leader, it's real simple. Let me share that with you. I take my big blade. Now this is like a, a Abenal number two. It's 14 inches long. On the back of it here is the leader, the loop of the leader. From the front of the loop of the leader to the trailing hook is how I'm measuring my leaders. I take it to my yardstick, I run it off. The back hook here is at 32 and a half inches. That's how I'm adjusting my leaders. Another guy that might like to fish with what's called the Les Davis Herring Dodger, the small one of size. This is a great blade, but it's only effective in the top 60 foot of water. A leader length for this would be 18 to 24 inches. So you'd take it from the end of the dodger here, and you'd run it to the last hook, and I'm marking it right now at 23 inches. So that would give you an idea on how to adjust the leaders for yourself. Now around the Anderson Island, you see what happens here is you have a lot of fresh water coming in off the Nisqually River. And that fresh water, a lot of times, is real dark brown color. This type of dodger only works good in the top 40 feet of water. But with that much fresh water coming into the sound, those big kings and the resident blackmouth tend to all go deep and hug the bottom. It's a more of an even climate for them. That's where they're feeding, it's just off the bottom and off of Lyle Point and Anderson Island. You can get in there pretty deep depths, 250, 300 foot deep. This blade would not cut the mustard, but it's good for the coho or if somebody that doesn't really like to have a lot of weight on their rod because my blade, it does pull really hard. Now there's some types of methods that have kind of evolved that people have seemed to kind of like in fishing. Now like, for instance, they take this deep six or the diving plane. A lot of guys have been using this. They run it uh, behind a little dodger like so, four to six feet a liter from the diving plane to the dodger, and then they run their fly or their squid, or sometimes even use a, a cut plug herring on a 24 inch liter behind it. They found that to be pretty good for them. I don't like it though, for the fact that it's just not getting you deep enough. A lot of guys like the three-way method. Matter of fact, you've seen a number of articles written about the three-way weight the, with the 16 to 20 to 24 ounces of weight on here. I don't like that because sometimes the weight's heavier than your fish. What I've designed is what I call the rock release. Now, it's just a drop weight method. This end would hook up to your rod. This end would go four to six feet to your flasher or your dodger. I'd take some black electrician's tape put it around a rock, and hey, look here. It really does work. The pin goes in, this rock is your weight, takes the gear to the bottom, fish pulls on the line, you and the fish, no weight. What'd you lose? An old rock. You might want to try that. Color combinations that I have found that work really the best for me in that area is this yellow and white, this dark green with just a little bit of white in it. And look, you can mix and match colors. Now you have the dark green with a little bit of lime in it. That also has been real productive around 
devil's head in February. Of course, you always have the all white with the red head. This has been productive year round. And our white squid. This squid turns kind of a bluish color in the water, and it's been real productive for me. Another thing that guys run into all the time when they're talking to me is, hey, how do I tie my hooks? Doc, what works good for you?